Breaking News Nigerians Supreme Court Judgment Tinibu Atiku Obi Spark Fresh Controversy This is serious. I think the bone of contention and the controversy here among lawyers is that henceforth the Supreme Court judgment upholding the election of President Bola Tinubu has left lawyers divided on whether election cases should be concluded before the swearing-in of elected officers. Hi guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Shani. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Let's quickly hear the content. Some senior lawyers want post-election case decided before elected officers inauguration to avoid conflict of interest especially from presiding judges but others heard that the period provided by the 1999 constitution as amended is enough to treat election petitions not minding whether it ends before assumption of office or not. For the 60 days, according to Section 285 of the 1999 Constitution, an election tribunal shall deliver its judgment in writing within 180 days from the date of the filing of the petition. Section 285, subsection 5 to 7, provided that an election petition shall be filed within 21 days after the date of the declaration of result of the elections. For the 140 days, both the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal and Supreme Court spent 140 days handling the petition tendered by People's Democratic Party PDP candidate Haraji Atiku Abubakar, Labour Party LP, flag bearer Mr. Peter Obi, and All Progressive Movement APM. In the end, the Apex Court affirmed Tinibu as the valid winner of the presidential election held on February 25th, giving suspicions that usually trial the outcome of such judgment in favor of any incumbent and fears of a clash of interest. An aberration that was noticed was cleared by a legal luminary, Professor Awa Kalu San. He said, ideally, when you have a contest for the highest political seat in the country, even at the state level, it makes sense to clear every electoral hurdles, including litigation, before the winner takes the prize. It makes sense, even in politics, for any competitor to pick up the prize after the race. It is not when the race is still on. Somebody already has the prize. It makes it difficult for the empire to say, give us back the trophy. Let us present it to another person. That is certainly an aberration. So it is recommended very strictly that we should finish the race before the title 
is one. So, when somebody appropriates all the powers, whether as president, or as governor, or as a member of legislature, and so on, let the totality of the competition be over before you present the trophy. Because if you present a trophy and you restart the competition, even the referee will be shy to say, Oga, bring back your trophy so that we can give it to the person that has won. This no-go area, not in Nigeria at all, at all. However, I believe that what we need most is the need to ensure that elections are free and fair and transparent. The National Assembly has tried with the various provisions enacted into the Electoral Act of 2023. We need to ensure that we create a greater guarantee of elections being held in peace and with minimize possibilities of undue manipulations and interference. The position of an upper hand. A senior lawyer, Mr. Ebenezer Apata, said election petition in court should be conducted before swearing in, adding that any candidate that is returned as a winner of an election already has an upper hand. On the part of INEC, INEC should conduct the general elections six months to the date of swearing in. All election cases should be determined before the swearing in. So guys, what is your take on this? Please kindly subscribe to Bliss Channel and do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.